Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. New NHTSA chief pledges to scrutinize driver assist systems like Tesla Autopilot. Tesla Megapack batteries are starting to live up to their promise. Tesla Semi helps install prefab superchargers at Laguna Seca. And Tesla ramps up Gigafactory Texas to thousands of units per week, adds new Model Y version. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Stephen Cliff, who was confirmed as the new head of NHTSA last month, recently stated that the agency would be intensifying its efforts to understand the risks and benefits posed by automated driver assist technologies like Tesla Autopilot. When Cliff joined the NHTSA, he was surprised to see that the agency did not have data on automated vehicle crashes. As a result of this, Cliff noted that he challenged the NHTSA to come up with a report. The initial data from these efforts was released recently, and it revealed that Tesla accounted for nearly 70% of reported crashes involving level 2 driver assist systems in the US. Vehicles with automated driver assist systems were involved in almost 400 crashes from July 2021 to May 2022. While this may seem like a substantial number, however, it is but a small fraction of the accidents that happened on US roads last year. In 2021 alone, the NHTSA estimated that about 43,000 were killed on the road, the highest figure in 16 years. In an interview, Cliff was quick to point out that while Tesla accounts for the lion's share of crashes involving vehicles equipped with automated driver assist systems, the company also has its driver assist system on nearly all of its roughly 830,000 cars on US roads. This, together with the fact that Tesla provides near-instantaneous wireless reporting of crashes makes it quite difficult to compare the company's results with other automakers. The NHTSA has initiated a number of probes into Tesla's since Cliff's arrival. That being said, Cliff pointed out that Tesla has been cooperative since his arrival at the agency. The new NHTSA chief noted that Tesla is quite proactive and the agency's relationship with the automaker has been good. Overall, the new NHTSA chief stated that he believes federal standards are needed to regulate automated driver assist technologies. However, Cliff noted that he would like to avoid rushing, as new rules may potentially end up compromising safety. Moving to the next update, Tesla Megapack batteries are starting to live up to their promise. When Tesla unveiled the Megapack, the company positioned it as a battery that had the potential to render traditional coal and gas-fired peaker plants obsolete. Since their introduction in 2019, Tesla Megapacks have been deployed across the globe and they are starting to live up to their promise. Being grid-scale batteries, Megapacks could perform tasks that are typically assigned to peaker plants. Typical peaker plants are idle for most of the day since they are only fired up to provide extra energy when demand for electricity spikes up. Megapacks are able to support the grid just as well, if not better, than peaker plants, and they are also a whole lot cleaner. While Tesla's business is typically dominated by the company's sleek electric vehicles, its energy business is also growing at a fairly steady rate. As noted in a Quartz report, Tesla has stepped up the pace of its big battery projects, with estimates pointing to utility-scale battery construction, increasing almost tenfold in 2021. A number of high-profile grid-scale battery projects utilize Tesla Megapacks. The Tesla-powered Elkhorn battery in Moss Landing is a 182.5 megawatt 730 megawatt hour system comprised of 256 megapack batteries. Tesla is expected to complete a couple of other big battery projects this year, such as a megapack installation that would replace the last coal plant in Hawaii and another battery that would replace one of New Mexico's most carbon-polluting coal plants. According to software engineer Lawrence Gruber, who tracks megapack installations that are at least 5 megawatt hour in size, the pace of grid-scale battery installations from Tesla is actually accelerating. If the Hawaii and New Mexico batteries are actually completed this year, for example, Tesla would end up breaking last year's installation record by about 50%. 
That's not bad at all, considering that Tesla energy is yet to be fully ramped by the company. What is quite interesting is that Tesla is not the only company building utility-scale batteries. Fellow battery makers like LG and Samsung have also built installations at similar scales. The same is true for China-based battery companies. Overall, the battery storage disruption does seem to be coming. It just so happens that its ramp is happening very quietly, without much fuss. Moving to the next update, Tesla Semi helps install prefab superchargers at Laguna Seca. The Tesla Semi is expected to start limited production next year, as per previous comments by CEO Elon Musk. But even before the Class 8 all-electric truck enters production, the vehicle is already being used by the company to help in some of its projects. In a recently uploaded video, for example, Tesla showcased how the updated semi-prototype was used to transport a number of prefabricated superchargers to WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. The truck was featured heavily in the short video as it was shown carrying several supercharger boxes in a trailer. The addition of superchargers at Laguna Seca would likely be appreciated by Tesla owners. Over the years, and with the introduction of the Model 3 and its dedicated track mode, the community of electric vehicle owners, who are fond of racing their cars on the track, has only grown. This is evident, with events such as Tesla Corsa, which have become popular over the years. Since track driving drains batteries quickly, having superchargers in Laguna Seca all but ensures that Tesla owners who wish to race their cars could spend a good portion of the day pushing their vehicles to the limit. The addition of superchargers would likely be popular among non-Teslas as well, especially when the company opens the network to other track-capable EVs, like the Porsche Taken. Tesla's prefabricated superchargers are fairly simple, but they present a way for the company to ramp its charger installations quickly. By using pre-built chargers, Tesla is able to set up numerous superchargers in record time. This was definitely the case in Beaver, Utah, where one of Tesla's first prefab superchargers was built last year. As per Tesla owners, the Beaver supercharger is a usual stop for drivers traveling from Salt Lake to St. George or Vegas. To the disdain of Tesla drivers, the site used to have only four V2 stalls. Using its prefabricated supercharger system, Tesla was able to add 32 V3 superchargers in a few days, vastly improving the ownership experience of its drivers. Moving to the last update, Tesla ramps up Gigafactory Texas to thousands of units per week, adds new Model Y version. Tesla has managed to ramp up production at Gigafactory Texas to thousands of units per week, adding production of the Model Y long range on top of the standard range version. The automaker is being secretive about data on its production ramp at Gigafactory Texas. It is one of Tesla's most important projects as it invested billions of dollars in the giant factory and it will not recoup that money until the plant reaches volume production. After slowly starting production of the Model Y late in 2021, Tesla has been gradually ramping up and started deliveries of Texas-built Model Y vehicles in April. The ramp-up has been difficult, as Tesla has been building the Model Ys at Gigafactory Texas, with its new 4680 battery cell and structural battery pack, which have been the bottleneck. Tesla has been aiming to produce 10,000 vehicles per week at the factory by the end of the year. The current production rate of Gigafactory Texas has been unknown, but it was believed to be less than 1,000 Model Y vehicles per week. Now Electrek has obtained insight information for the first time that gives us a better idea of Tesla's production rate at the new factory. Sources familiar with the matter say that Tesla has managed to ramp up production since adding a new version of the Model Y, Model Y Long Range, and it now produces several thousand vehicles per week. One source said that Tesla is making as many as 5,000 vehicles available to deliver per week, but it's not clear if that's a sustainable rate. Another source said that Tesla is capable of producing at least 2,000 Model Ys per week at the plant, since adding the Model Y long range to the mix. 
However, some buyers taking delivery of the Model Y long range from Gigafactory Texas are being told by their Tesla advisors that the vehicle is equipped with the 2170 cells and not the new cell format. Recent drone flyovers of the factory show that Tesla is getting hundreds of cars out every day. In this flyover, we can see Tesla prepping more than 300 Model Ys for delivery in the parking lot. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.